he sees the side you hide, or maybe wish you could hide, from the world. He takes in your foibles and your good personality traits at a glance and commits them to paper. In a way, Brent Harper sees more than those with 2020 vision ever could. It took me 46 years and 30 seconds to draw. And um, last weekend I was working at Toy Toy Museum and I plopped up, I think, 220 animals over four hours. I'm Roselle Lebone. I'm here with legally blind, busking street cartoonist Brent Harper. He's about to start a series of workshops here in Dunedin for kids to learn how to draw cartoons and I'm just about to have my picture taken. Harper is a street cartoonist with a keen eye and a sharp pen. He's worked around the world and some of his most famous creations can be found everywhere. But my sight being quite limited, I like to draw how I see people, which is a little bit out of focus, a little bit blurry, not too much detail. I'm a bit nervous here about what, what come out on the paper. Harper's vision has deteriorated since he was a child to the point where he is now totally blind in his right eye with limited vision in the left. I have a hereditary eye condition of the cornea, so I've had a couple of major eye operations. Um, my art teacher at high school hated cartoons, so I gave up on art while I was at high school. He has a unique approach to creating cartoon likenesses of passers-by. What do you think? Good. Happy? He's a good draw. With his fedora and mane of grey hair, oh, Harper always attracts a crowd. The secret to avoiding lulls in foot traffic, he says, is to always be drawing. He'll also take donations of chocolate or coffee if you're short a bob or two. I've never lived in Dunedin and it's wonderful. I've only been here four months and people are so kind and generous. I go busking, people throw money at me. And so <laughs> Hopefully not literally. <laughs> sometimes. Oh, no, no. Well, the notes um, are nice. Throw, yeah, it, throw notes, they don't hurt so much. <laughs> when he's not busking, he goes wherever his services are required. He'll be sharing his skills with children in two workshops in Dunedin's Northeast Valley these school holidays. He says kids don't need much more to be entertained than a sharpie and a piece of paper. I think the lightness is extraordinary. Roselle Lebone, The South Today.